Hi, I'm Keith Cotter and welcome to HSB Stick Frame on HSB Design 24 in a nutshell. This all new release stick frame has many many features and benefits that's going to help to make your design a far more robust and enjoyable experience. First off, you're going to learn about Persist Technology. Our Persist Technology allows you to control your manual changes so that you never again lose them. So you design once and you have it there forevermore. Second off, you're going to then see our connection details and the improved connection details of the butt connection when two elements are standing side by side and that connection between them, along with some of the UI changes that we've made in the Framing Styles Editor because this will now make your experience in the Framing Styles Editor even more pleasing again. Moving on into some of the HSB Flex tools, you're going to see our Pocket, Point Load and Vent tool added to the many other tools that are already existing in the stick framing and again making that possibility to speed up your design even more faster again. And last, I'm really excited to introduce you to validation. What is validation? It's your means to be able to check your design when you've a complete. Things like being able to check whether you've numbered all your beams, or maybe the module spacing between studs is never greater than 600, or that you don't exceed a certain height of an element. These are all the typical things that you would do at the end of your design to ensure that your design is ready for fabrication to the factory. And this is all in an automated process using validation. So let's jump in, let's take a look and see what we have. So first let's take a look at Persist Technology and if I were to enlarge this beam to a bigger size and copy this beam, you'll see that when I frame my wall again, it'll actually keep this manual chain, hence Persist Technology. Moving on into the butt connection, which is our newest connection type, very similar again to the corner and T-junction connection. In the same manner, you will be able to add beam, be able to rotate them, modify them, change shape and orientation, and hence basically be able to frame that wall and get the resultant of what you've defined in your butt connection. Moving on into the HSP Flex tool, we're looking here at the pocket tool. Paramount to all of these flex tools is these properties that you can change and hence really get down to the detail of how you want your pocket detail. Similarly, the point load is the same, but here I'm showing you now the vent tool. And with the vent tool, we can also similarly define all the properties. And when we frame that wall, it'll automatically frame around this particular vent pipe that you see here at the moment. You can also place vents individually without even having the actual MEP piping showing as well on the wall. And then moving into our validation manager, this is our means to be able to check your model after design. In this case here, I'm just creating a simple group and I'm gonna add here some extension plugins which will be very defined rule set. In this case, I'm going to check the section size and I'm also going to check the length of each beam that they meet a certain criteria. And then you just simply run the validation, picking the group that you selected earlier. And that would hence give you back a complete result of anything that would have failed. And then you can just navigate very simply into wherever the issue is on your model. I'm Key Cotter, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the upcoming sessions that I have recorded on each of these topics and be sure to jump in and take a look.